Okay, guys, sorry for the weird start here, but I just want to make this quick. My noise cancellation on the microphone was really bad. In this video, I fixed it right now, and it's not going to be in the next video. I apologize, and and yeah, that's it. I just wanted to make this quick. Uh, like, subscribe, follow me on Instagram. It's all linked down in the description. And and also, I, can't, I sound kind of pissed in the video in the beginning, but I'm not. I'm just, I was just really annoyed by how often I tried recording the video because I always failed or something, or like my project crashed or something. I sound kind of pissed, but I'm not pissed. Um, I'm always happy to bring this content to you guys, and I hope you learned something from this. You still learn, th you still learn something from this, even though I messed up the vo uh, audio a bit, and I hope you still have fun. So, again, like, subscribe, follow me on Instagram, and have fun with the video. What is up guys and welcome back to another video today here uh, on my channel and yeah you might I might sound a little bit annoyed because I am annoyed uh, I just record I'm recording this video for like the fifth time now because like either my mom works in or like I mess up with the script or something is really annoying so anyways okay that actually brought my like my motivation back a bit um because it's kind of funny um okay let's just start um, so we want to get rid of the default light and the default cube here and just get ourselves a th 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 Sphere in here and With that sphere we're going to be applying one subdivision surface and that's it Don't touch this any don't touch this don't change anything because you want higher resolution or anything It's going to be the, high re the highest resolution as we can get it. Don't change anything. Okay um, Now we want to oops. We want to blow we want to get ourselves a new window, shade editor, and change our render render engine. We'll also get that. Um, and get the default material here, change it to octane, and get ourselves a glossy material. I might be doing this a little bit fast because at this point I really just want to get this video done. Um, yeah, so the glossy material right here, and we want to get these textures that I have in the description. And we just want to get the depth, height, and our normal. And then we want to plug these, plug all of these in. So height goes not into uh, our displacement, it goes into our bump. Why would it? <laughs> so normal into normal. Just arrange these a little bit so like a little bit nicer. Just mess that node up. Um, so we want to get a displace on the depth. And a short reminder, guys, I get so many comments saying, why do I not have that diffuse material or whatever? You guys need Octane, the Octane render engine for this. I will, there is a channel, there's a, there's a playlist on my channel, I'm sorry, guys, there's a channel on my playlist, there's a channel on my playlist, yeah. <laughs> you can really see that, I've been sitting here for a long time trying to record. Okay, anyways, I'll just leave that in. Um... There is a playlist on my channel where you can see how you install Octane, how you get into Octane, how you learn the nodes, everything. Go check that out before you do this, because I get, as I said, I get so many comments saying, I'm doing this in cycles, why is that not working, or something. Do it in Octane. These are Octane tutorials. Okay, with that out of the way, let's, let's carry on. Um, so, yeah, just want to connect all these nodes, as usual. And we want to get our mid-level to 0.5, and our height, we're going to see that now. Start a render, updating shaders. What's that? <clears throat> so right here. Um the height here. Turn this up a bit. A bit. Yeah. Turn this up a bit. And I said that twice. Turn this up. I just I'm gonna leave that in as well. <laughs> okay. Right here. Like this. Turn the height up a bit. Oh my god, I just said it a fourth time. Turn the height up and get your. We want to duplicate this thing, so I'm gonna press Shift and D to duplicate. Just drag it over like this. Put it there. We already got a nice angle on this one. Move our camera here. I want to move our camera a little bit further back than usual because we're gonna set our um our focal length here to 80 millimeters. So like this. 180 millimeter focal length, and we also want where is it? 
camera imager, we want this turned on so we can see better. And we want to get a better angle on this one because this, the angle here is not really good. So let's rotate. That is a better angle. Oh yeah, that's a good angle. So, get a better angle. Like this. And then, we want to get a light. How about a render mode here? And we want to click on our, our sphere here. We don't necessarily have to, we don't have to click on it. I just, uh, I just said that for no reason. So we want to shift A and get a light area. I'm going to move this back to here. Go to the constraint properties and add a damn track. Minus C on the track axis and we want to track sphere. Not sphere one, we want to track sphere. So, you can now scale this up by a lot. Move it down to the side here. Like this, let's see. Okay, so it's filling out the entire background. That might, actually be a little bit, that might actually be a little bit too big, but no, 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 wait. We actually gotta go big because we're gonna get some nice reflections around these corners. So this looks good. Let's hop into our render. And just cut off the uh, power here. And that is looking, that, that's looking better. To here, a bit more, maybe. Yeah, there we go. And what we want to do is really important. We want to go and use nodes, get a black body emission, because that always looks better. Emission. Can we actually drag from these slots? Oh, we can. Never knew that. <laughs> Until now. So you see, this black body emission actually turns the light a little bit blue, which is good. And we want to turn on surface brightness. As bright. Let's turn the tone of the power down here. By a lot. By a lot. Hello? It's not. Okay, there we go. So. There we go. That's better. So, we want to get this to about right here. And then actually get an RGB spectrum. Into our texture, and turn that power down a way more than actually. Or wait, no, okay, no RGB spectrum, guys. I'm sorry, it started messing with the. I didn't know that. You can you can always add RGB spectrum if you want. So what we actually want to do here for better, like, so it looks better, we want to turn on. Uh, we don't want to turn on, we just want to play around with the exposure and the gamma. So what we do is we turn the exposure down by 2. By 2 clicks right here, and 2 clicks right here. The gamma up by 2. And then actually get our... our no, where is it? Our area. And play around with it a little bit more. Brightness down a bit, maybe. Maybe the size was also messing. Messing it up? No, okay, so it's not messing it up. Okay. Play around. So you get it to look right. And that looks cool. So now we can work on our uh, the, 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 the thingy in the middle. So that's pretty easy to do. What we do is we get a torus. And this is going to sound dumb, but what we want to do is we just want to scale this torus down and move it in the general vicinity where our our actual, actual torus is going to be. So this is just a dummy torus. We just want to rotate and put this wherever we feel like our torus should be in the actual final render. So let's pop on. There it is. So let's move it in the middle between them. And we want it right here. So what we can do to lock this position so every object we spawn spawns right there because that is going to help us in the torus creation. What we want to do is we want to press Shift S and cursor to selected. Now, it put the world cursor to right here. So everything we spawn is going to be spawning right there. So, what we want to do now is get it, get it back a torus. And we want to, the major radius, we want to turn that down first. And the minor radius, we want to turn that down. Okay, we messed it up. <laughs> Gotta do it again. That's, that's the one thing I hate about Blender, which is like, you can't change things on the fly. Okay, there you go, that is good, and also Taurus. Okay, 
Zoom in on that top E. <laughs> and scale it up. Make it a little bit thinner. Not too thin. And that's looking good. Let's give it some more faces here. And we're done with the torus creation. Now, just for good measures, I'm going to slap on another subdivision surface on this thing. And I'm going to make the material for this. This is actually just a plain metal material. So we just got a metal material and plug this into the surface. And you'll see it will give us some nice reflections. So we can now turn this thing how we wanted it. The final render, like this, maybe. Yeah. And then we want to get a empty plane axis. And then we want to go to our, our sphere here, our torus, go to its object properties, and actually just port over the uh, the rotation here over to this empty exactly like it is on the torus. So just copy all of these. If there's a better way to port these over, guys, I, uh, I don't know it. I just know this method of just copy and pasting. If you guys know the, the method of doing this, please tell me in the comments below because it would speed up the process by a lot. So when you have all of these ported over, you want to... Or what, what was it now? I, I lost the lead. Um, yeah, so you want to go to your torus, and you see the scale of this torus is 1, and the scale of this is also 1. So if, this, if the scale of your torus would be like this or something, if you were to scale it up after you, after you generated it, you would have to make this scale the exact same scale of the empty. So I'm actually going to have it a little bit bigger, just for the tutorial's sake, like this. And then I want to take all this, not all of them, but just one because they're all the same, just one of these, and then go to the empty and paste the exact same in there. That's important because if you link, uh, you will get to that now. So um, click on click on the torus here and onto the modifiers, and we want to add a array modifier. So this array modifier is just basically arraying these. And what you want to do is you want to turn on object offset and link this to the empty. And you see it still it still it stays the same, but if this empty would have been like one, you see the scale this is different. And we don't want that. We want it the exact same scale. So let's put it back. And yeah, so what we can now do is go back to our actual torus here. And we want the relative offset. We can I think we can yeah, we can just turn that off or we can just Take the factor X and turn it down to zero. I'm just going to turn this down to zero and close all of these up. And then I want to add so count. I don't want to add count. And what this does is is this. You'll see in a second here. So add like 15. I don't know. We'll, we'll fix it later. So on the empty now, you want to scale this empty down, and you'll start seeing this crazy stuff happen. And this is looking really cool. So we see here now, okay, so they're all evenly spaced apart and they're all shrinking to the center, which is really cool. So we now have this, this kind of setup here. And what we can now do is just rotate this torus and get this sick twisting look on, on our render. So I'm just, I'm not going to over twist it here. Over twist it, is that even a term? Um... Just gonna put it like, like so. Maybe that's too many clones. Let's maybe tone down our clones a bit. Maybe six. No, six not enough. Six. Ten. Ten is better. And then we just scale down our torus a bit more. Oh yeah. And then we do the same thing. So we'll rotate this a, bit, a little bit more. There we go. That is looking cool. Rotate this in, in any direction we want. We can actually turn the actual torus as well, and they'll give us some different results. Oh, yeah. That's cool. Now, just maybe a little bit more clones here. Space, space them apart a bit more. Yes, that's cool. So, um, this is it. And no, this is not it. Uh, I forgot to turn on post-processing. 
uh, yeah, just turn on post processing and the camera and play around with it a little bit so you get something you like. And yeah, that's that's it. Uh, now you just continue on with the video, and I was never here. Um, we can just go to our render settings here and change our max samples to I just to, I use two thousand five hundred all the time. Uh, no, I actually don't use that anymore. That was my old one. I use um one thousand twenty four, and yeah, that's it. We we're basically done. This is the render. So just going to save this because I don't want it to crash here. Part fourteen because it sometimes it happens to me that it crashes and I can't upload this the exact project to um Patreon. Usually I just ditch it. But yeah. <laughs> so yeah. This is it. I hope you had fun. Go follow, like, and subscribe. And yeah. Hope you enjoyed. Stay creative. See you next time.